I'm going to be programming this TR7 module to modify my Forerunner. This is to use this as a remote sensor to roll up the back window of a Forerunner using the keyless fob. And so this TR7 can detect two pushes of the window down button within five seconds and then trigger the circuits to roll the window up without having to put the key into the back door and turning it to the right. So I bought this TR7 from Pacific Accessory Corporation. These are the included instructions. We'll be programming this into mode 15 or what they call feature 15. It says here number of pulses for timer output. Also count the number of pulsers for timer output. And so we're going to be setting this into mode 15 or feature 15 so that it receives two presses of the window button on the keyless fob within five seconds. We'll then close the circuit for six seconds to give the back window plenty of time to get back to the up position. I won't be modifying any of the other circuitry for the control unit, so all the cutoffs for the motor should still work once the window reaches the up position. So, to program this, you will need a 12 volt power source. I'm using an 18 volt power tool battery. I'm using a buck converter or BUCK to step the voltage from 18 volts down to 14.1, which is closer to what the car runs at. And to program this, you will connect your black wire from the TR7 to the negative terminal of your power source. Before powering the TR7 module, you need to switch this programming switch from the off position to the on position. You can see that they're labeled here off and on. Once you are in the program mode, then you can power the unit. If you power the unit before entering the program mode, it will not work. Make sure all the other wires aren't touching. Now you can power your unit. Then you use the green wire as the trigger to program it. So the green wire will touch the red wire and that should program the unit. So the first step is to touch it 15 times to enter mode 15 or feature 15. And there's an LED in here that will tell you uh, if you connected the circuit correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You should flash back after three seconds, fifteen times. One, two. And that was fifteen. So the second input, we're going to put two so that it is two input, two input pulses from the keyless fob within five seconds. So two times, one, two. Three seconds later, it should flash back two times. Perfect. Now before we enter the timing mode, you enter the number of seconds, sorry, you enter the number of minutes, then the number of seconds in the tens digit, then the number of seconds in the ones digit. So almost like a clock, minutes, and then seconds in two separate digits. So you touch it one time just to enter the timing mode. And we're going to wait out the minute segment. We're going to wait out the tens digit of the seconds. And then we're just going to touch it six times when it's asking for how many seconds in the one digit. Because we want to give the back window plenty of time to reach the top. So we'll touch it one time just to enter the timer programming one time. Now it's asking for minutes. We want zero. Tens digit, zero. And finally ones digit, we want six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it should flash a bunch of times. Six, and then flashes a bunch of times to say that we're done programming. So before you disconnect this, you want to switch this switch back to the off mode and then you can disconnect your power source and that should be programmed into mode 15 with 
two triggers within five seconds to close the circuit for six seconds. So let's go see if that works. <laughs> 